glad. I accepted Christ as my Savior when I was 16, but then I was a rocky road off and on after that. And But I think God has always really been there because there would always somehow be a Christian I'd meet in my life. Somewhere through. And then when I came back up here, of course, it was I, I came back into the church like I did. But I don't think he ever forsakes us. He did. It's always a little point there, but he lets, he, he lets us make our own mistakes, too. So. <laughs> And those aren't so good, but but I I enjoy the more I give my life over to Him, the better and better it works out. And I know that now. I've learned a lot of lessons that way, and I've learned to get me out of a lot of problems. <laughs> I'm glad God's always given me the hope. And I did have a grandmother that was a real positive thinker, and she always taught me that it was as easy to find something good about somebody as bad. And I think maybe I've been able to do that with my life too. It's meant that it kept me going and kept me looking positive. And like as I said that when I had that depression, it really, I, I just couldn't do anything. I had never really had a bout like that before. And uh, it, it took Gail and Ann taking me to Florida to my sisters and those people coming down and seeing me every Thursday to pick me up and help me get positive again with the hope. And, and it comes through your devotions when you, when you see that. like. Hope is always there, it's always a part of you, but it's hard some time to pin right in on. Oh, I'm kind of at the best place in my life because I get to, you know, it, it's hopeful and, and you don't know when it's gonna end, but I've had the fun of seeing my grand, great-grandchildren grow up further than I ever thought I would and get to see Morgie's and Craig's little girl. And uh, I get to see their basketball games and their concerts as long as everybody helps me a lot <laughs> getting places. And uh, it, it's just a fun time. It's a fun, relaxing time. You you reach out to people that you think God wants you to reach out to, but I don't do anywhere near as much of it as I used to. I've been watching George, Bush, George Bush's funeral this week, and you know you've got a lot to look ahead to too. I'm I'm certainly ready, and when it comes, it will be there. And I, I guess I'll enjoy life here on Earth as long as it's here, and and be glad when when I'm there too. I would hope that, that they would find God's love and understand Him and uh, that they would grow, you know, grow in Him. And we talk some. <laughs> it's, it's fun being around it. Mostly was how, how God has carried me through and how He was always there with me even when, when I was astray. And uh, that He just, well, hope never discourages you. As long as you can do that, you're going to come out of it somewhere along the line, eventually, with a positive outlook, and that's important, real important. And love goes along with that, too. <laughs>